Squirrels and Robots, episode 104. Thank you, Alfred, George, and Benjamin, for the awesome start to the new year with your financial tipping goodness. Betty Boy is dead! <laughs> yeah, I know. Thank you for the tips. It's appreciated. I mean, look, 2021 wasn't bad enough, Roy. It had to take Betty White on the way out. I mean, why? I read on the internet that it was the other way around. Rumors told the tale of Betty White dragging 2021 to the fires of Mordor and said, if I'm going to go, I'm going to take you with me. And while grasping 2021 by the throat, she threw herself into the fiery pits of Mordor, sacrificing herself to save us all and rid us of 2021 for good. Really? It, it was on the internet, and the internet doesn't lie. A lot. Well, sometimes it doesn't. C couple of times a week at least. <sighs> um, speaking of dead things, hey, I finally got around to watching Ghostbusters Afterlife. Hey, how was it? Not terrible, actually. Like, I went into it with zero expectations because, you know, the 2016 one was utter crap. I have pooped more interesting things and things that were scarier, too, than the 2016 Ghostbusters. Yeah, I, I was holding off on that for a while as 2016 kind of, you know, just destroyed the franchise for me. Well, Afterlife tries to resuscitate the brand a bit without being too heavy-handed, but honestly, I kind of felt the second half of the movie was a bit rushed. No spoilers! No, I'm not revealing any plot points. It's just, I felt the pacing of the first half of the movie was excellent. And then it was like, okay, this is happening, this is happening, this, 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 these people are here, this is happening over there, and boom, credits. Oh, um, well, I mean, maybe there'll be a director's cut? Maybe? Well, from what I've read, there won't be a director's cut, as the director felt he was happy with how the final edit came out. So, I guess at this point, it is what it is. That, that is unfortunate. Speaking of unfortunate, they were going to release a Ghostbusters box set with the first two movies and Afterlife, leaving out the 2016 version from the collection. Oh, thank Bob. But, booty. But, the director of the 2016 version that no one liked whined and complained and so on, and now it will be included in the box set, sullying a collection I was looking forward to. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy that. If that's gonna be in there, that's a pass now. Me neither. I will buy all releases as separate, leaving out the dumpster fire that was 2016. You know, and isn't it some crap? Like, here the director of the 2016 version is, like, crying about not having his movie in a collection. Yo, there was a reason. It sucked. Everyone thought it sucked. Even the woke crowd thought it sucked. It sucked. Well, I mean, Ghostbusters 2 was rather lame, to be honest. Yeah, it was. But not nearly as bad as 2016. Terrible film. Terrible. It was so bad, Columbia Pictures lost $70 million, and, and, and it canceled all sequels to that version of the franchise. Yeah, you hear that, Paul? Your movie sucked so hard, it lost $70 million and left an indelible mark of failure on a beloved franchise. You are the bat nipples of the Ghostbusters universe. Wow. And then you wonder why it wasn't originally included in the box set. I feel like I should go back and rewatch it, but my time is, you know, too valuable, you know? Exactly. Hey, also, props to the composer of Ghostbusters Afterlife for tastefully using the Elmer Bernstein score and peppering it throughout the film. Excellent use. Soundtracks are overlooked. But, yeah, right, overall, it was like a 7 out of 10 for me, with the original Ghostbusters being a solid 9, Ghostbusters 2 being a 6, and Ghostbusters 2016 being like a 2. Or maybe... No, no, no. Now it's a 1. It's a 1 now because the director is a whiner. No one likes a whiner. Here, here. I understand that now. Uh, let's see. Games Done Quick is starting up again on January 9th, and apparently it won't be in person again due to everyone hacking germs on each other globally. Thanks, dumb humans. I miss conventions. And, and, and you know, I really feel bad for the anime peoples and, and, and the cosplay peoples, because, you know, those all, those, all their conventions were canceled, and, 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 you know, some of them are very social anxiety, but, but conventions made them, made them kind of happy, and they had interactions with humans, and they could kind of be what they want to be, but now, no. Happiness for none! Yeah, I kind of don't want to keep retreading the same humans are stupid topic when it comes to the medical sciences, as it's 2022, and I'm going to stick to my resolution of not caring too much about certain things. All I can say is, 
A portion of the population has left themselves exposed during a germtastic global event. So, good luck with that. Ha! Huh, I sneezed on my own cereal because I was out of milk. Good. Boy, um, did you notice that as soon as it was January 3rd, all the news went south real quick? Like, like it wasn't... Like, it was all doom and gloom and we're all gonna die and such and... It was like it's only the third day of the year. What's going on out there? <laughs> yeah, dude, vacation was over for the hate machine, so you know what? January 3rd, back to work, right? Well, gotta keep spewing out fear and hatred, creating a greater divide amongst society so they have even more to write about. You know? Yeah, I'll just can't anymore with all that noise. Just, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna watch me anime, you know, listen to me baby metal, and let nature run its course. Yes, and I will eat Hot Pockets in between two Pop-Tarts covered in peanut butter and call it a peanut butter Pop Pocket sandwich, copyright, trademark, my mouth. Okay. Oh, oh, did you see the new Matrix movie? Nah, no real interest in that for some reason. I was kind of burnt out on the franchise way back in the day, and you know what? Reliving progressively bad films isn't in my schedule. First one was brilliant, though. Second one was okie dokie. Uh, third one was just, let's shut this down and unplug this franchise. Like someone plugged it back in and booted it all up all over again! Yeah, unfortunately, other than that, the hate machine is spewing out its usual the world is terrible, like, follow, subscribe mantra, and the rest of media is churning out the usual top things to look forward to in 2022 type lists. You know, there's not much wholesome content out there now, is there? Wholesome doesn't generate a lot of engagement, okay? Political divide and discord generates engagement. This way, everyone can bicker and argue in the comment section of some salacious article so they can all be fed ad after ad each time they return to argue some more with whomever commented on their comment. Folks, it's a pretty transparent practice at this point. So if you're not aware, you are now. Articles are written to trigger you, polarize an issue so you'll feel the need to comment. And when you do, someone will inevitably feel compelled to comment about your comment. And you'll go back and forth trying to explain yourself all over again, the arguing, the bickering, other people are going to chime in and you got to respond to them as well. All the while, each visit, each view, is generating a little bit more ad revenue for the site. So, essentially, you're allowing yourself to be puppets while the puppeteer gets paid in ad revenue by your returning reactionary emotions and stress. Don't let them win. Walk away. It'll save you time, stress, and brain cells. I save all the brain cells I can, and yet they still do not work. So I don't know how valuable they are. Yeah, well, you know, I think maybe we should watch the new Venom movie sometime this week. Um, actually, I kind of already did. All right, and it's... Ugh. Yo, dude, that movie was just... Blah. Like, there was nothing there. I wasn't compelled by it. Stop putting Woody Harrelson in everything. Why? No. It's just, it wasn't that... All right, the special effects were a lot better than the first one, but, it, yo, the humor, if if that's what it was supposed to be, fell flat constantly. 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 So, basically, it was a bunch of mediocre slapstick with uh, mediocre dialogue and mediocre story and... uh you know, usual CGI fight scenes. Ah, uh, it's like, it's like a 5 out of 10 for me. Oh, um, so I oh, should not watch it? Dude, I don't care. If you want to watch it, go watch it. For me, personally, I did not care for it. If you're going to spend two hours on something, Ghostbusters Afterlife, okay? It's overall a better film. You can't compare, like, Venom and Ghostbusters. They're both movies. One was better than the other, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, okay, that's the similarity. They are films. Can we go move on, please? We have other things to do, all right? Plus, I got a, still a bunch of stuff to watch that people sent us. Thank you, you know? And we will catch up on all of that as soon as someone catches up on the cartoons, comics, music, and video game. That video game is never gonna happen. I'm gonna die. Yeah! Uh, whatever, dude. Do you want me to die? Ah, uh, huh. Now, come on, mate. Dude, don't rush me. I'm thinking. Ah! All right, we're out. Uh, be well, stay safe, and all that assorted sound advice people generally don't listen to these days. Y y do you remember the good old days when, when the only thing we had to worry about were things exploding and planes crashing into buildings? Yeah, oddly enough, simpler times. Wow, when planes crashing into buildings reminds you of simpler times. Well, that says a lot about the state of things, doesn't it? Perhaps the ultra-rich are right to leave us behind and live in space. Humans are terrible. Wow, what a world!